What up, what up, it's Chan Wildclay. In our last video, a ton of you commented to buy Guardians of the Galaxy weapons. We're gonna buy five weapons from Guardians of the Galaxy, test them out against fruit. Here we go. Drax the Destroyer. His weapon of choice are simply known as Drax the Destroyer's knives. They are daggers, one held in each hand, and they have a very unique shape to them. Whoa, this looks cool. Dragon Fantasy Dagger. Yeah, it's got a really cool shape. $23.95. Let's go ahead and order this thing and test it out in real life. So I told Karate Mart that I was ordering these for Drax the Destroyer. So they said, we're gonna send you the real thing, but we're also gonna send you something funny. <laughs> so let's take a look at what the funny thing is here first. Look at that. That does look like Drax the Destroyer's knife. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little blade. You know what these are perfect for? These are gonna be perfect for V. She is gonna love these. Let's see the real Drax knife here. I already know this is gonna look super cool. Let's just have it break right out of its own plastic. Yeah, That is a beauty. It's a dragon head, the long neck attached to a really cool blade here. It even has a little bit of, uh, what is that red stuff? Oh, that must be uh, watermelon residue or tomato residue. This part of the blade, not super sharp, so I can rub my finger on it, but the tip, holy cow, that is really sharp. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna jab like so. Why don't we go outside? We're gonna meet with V and we're gonna meet with Justin as well. And we'll decide how we're going to defeat some evil soda ninjas or some fruit ninjas with Drax the Destroyer's blades. What up, what up? I am suddenly Star-Lord and I've got Gamora here. So you got your green lipstick on. And what? green eyeshadows. And green and legs. Green legs. Skin's not green. What's going on there? What's, what's with the rest of your skin? Uh, there, was uh, a, there was a cut in the wardrobe budget, oh, so. Oh, that's what's Gamoring on with it. Oh! Uh. Speaking of wardrobe budget, I uh, ended up getting the five-year-old mask. I'm just a couple years too old, and uh, this is the closest thing I have to Star Lord's jacket. Got my Michael Jackson jacket. It's kind of <laughs> like uh, Moonwalker, right? Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 what? What? what you not that? You're not impressed? Not really. Oh. Oh. Just, just beat it, Chad. Oh. Just beat it! Oh. Beat it! Beat it! Do -do 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 -do. It's so hot, guys. I'm taking yeah. this off. Sorry, I'm not gonna be. Oh, that's not, not gonna be MJ Star Lord anymore. Lack of commitment to your craft. <laughs> craft? Minecraft? Minecraft? That's wrong, not this wrong, video. Wrong video. All right, back, back to Guardians. Back to Guardians. Of back the to. Galaxy. Yeah. Wait a second. Isn't Sly Stallone in the new Guardians? Uh, I think he is in there, right? Is he? Yeah. I have to double check that. Yeah, I think Rocky's in. Is he? He's one of the characters. I don't get all this nothing. You betrayed the code. Ravagers don't deal in kids. Back to Drax the Destroyer's blade. Check all this right. out. This is cool. Cool. I thought it was a seahorse. So is there, is there a pre, is there? This is for you, actually. For me? Here you go. Here's your Drax the Destroyer blade. The... Oh my gosh. Oh, it's more oh. V-sized Drax Oh my stores. gosh, there's another one. Wait. Hey. Oh, it's a medium and a small one. Oh, I yeah. like this one. Oh. <laughs> More cheese cutting knives. Yeah. <laughs> is this turning into a cooking show, Chad? Yes, yeah. it is. So oh, let's go slice up some fruit for our cooking show. What do you guys All say? Right. Shop. What planet Ooh. does he come from? I'm not sure, but he's trying to invade my galaxy. Oh. We're going to do a tornado kick over the top oh. to trick him. I'm going to come around with a spinning dagger. And you're going to karate it up. Heck yeah, let's karate it up. Woo! You ready to karate it up? Karate it up! Yeah. You karate the heck out of that soda oh ninja. My I totally tricked him. Doing a tornado kick oh. over his head. Tornadoed oh. him up. That was I got, so cool. I got his guts all over my camera. <laughs> well, Drax's dagger worked great. Let's go back inside and defend some more of the galaxy. Woo! <laughs> 
While I was looking for this next weapon, I stumbled upon this medieval needle sword, which reminds me quite a lot of a sword from Game of Thrones. So I always give you guys a thumbs up goal. You guys always smash them, no problem. So let's make it a little bit tougher for you guys. Let's go for 80,000 thumbs up. If this video hits 80,000 thumbs up, I'm gonna buy this super long medieval needle sword and do a Game of Thrones weapons video in real life. And the next Guardians of the Galaxy character we are testing out is Nebula. She uses a pair of electroshock batons. They are very long. Actually, the first time I saw them, I thought they were a pair of long, bent swords. And they reminded me of these weapons right here. The Vampire Hunter Sword. See how it's got that bend right after the handle there? That's what I thought of when I first saw Nebula and her weapons. I thought they were these swords. So uh, I don't think those really long electroshock batons exist in real life. So I'm gonna go with these two swords since they look pretty similar. And I think these are gonna do a much better job of chopping up fruit than a pair of shocking batons probably would. So let's order these swords. Come on, come on, it's electroshock batons. Actually, they're vampire hunter swords that look like nebulas. So I've got two big boxes here. Check out the first one. Oh my gosh, it's so big. That's what she said. Okay, anyway, nice. There's one and two. I haven't even taken the sheaths off yet, but I can tell these are freaking sweet. Check this out, guys. It comes right here and then has this like curve. Also, it curves down this way right here. Very, very unique and a very heavy duty sheath. Oh wow, that is nice. Yeah, I don't have any swords like this that come out from the handle and then bend over to the left or to the right, whatever angle you're looking at there. And this thing is very huge. Look how long this is, guys. Handle is really nice. Nylon wrapping on it, and then underneath, you can see that there's like a emblem. It looks like it's gonna be a dragon emblem down there. And now we'll take the other sword out of the sheath. It's time to be Nebula. We're gonna go outside and swing them around and defeat some evil fruit ninjas. Let's go. Woo! Let's check these out, Gamora! What's with that blade? Isn't this cool? I'm still unsheathing it. Or oh, un do you need a hand? There it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ready, fight! <laughs> Victory! Woo! Nope. <laughs> These banana ninjas are from the planet Run. Better make some banana bread. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that. I'll take care of those rotten bananas, me. Dive out of the way. She jumped, she dove she out, jumped of the out of the way. way. I hope my GoPro caught that. I hope so too. All right, this is a butternut squash ninja. Oh, so. interesting. Did get me landed on my back, so it, can, oh, it, did. it got it got one last good hit on me before he oh. died. Mark. He was a, he was a, a worthy opponent for right. sure. Yep. Yes, we'll we honor him. We do. <laughs> Hi. Mr. Squash Ninja didn't survive too well. Oh, you can put him back together. He's all right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect fit. Yeah. Wow. Then we're gonna cook him for dinner. Let's cook him. Yeah. 
And the next Guardians of the Galaxy character I'm checking out is Ronin and his universal weapon. It is capable of various effects such as energy blasts, force fields, flight, changing the structure of matter. It's essentially a big, huge, wicked hammer. I know exactly what I need to do for a big, huge, wicked hammer. The Tactical Walking Stick War Hammer for $129.95. It may seem expensive, but it is a awesome investment because this weapon is wicked cool. I've used it before in a video you guys have seen. Let's try it a little bit differently this time. Let's go grab it first. Here it is. It is awesome. It's huge. It's long. It's got a heavy head with a spike at the end, but also spikes on the hammer part. Four on each, one on each corner, and then one right in the middle. Has some good gripping for my fingers right there, and down here on the handle as well, and even way down here. So this thing can pretty much puncture and smash through anything. So let's try to find something that can compete against the Warhammer. Let's go outside and test it out. Here we've got Ronin's universal weapon, is the name of it, which is a very large hammer. His hammer is actually quite a bit larger uh, on the head portion, but uh, you know, this is the best hammer that I'm aware of. You guys remember this from past videos, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Ooh, that's a scary hammer. What did we take out last time with this? I believe it was a soda yeah. ninja. Yeah. yeah. What did we take out today? Um, mm. Some sort of fruit. You think a fruit? Yeah, we already did soda, Ooh. so we think, I think we should do a fruit. I'm Maybe feeling the fruit. Maybe like a, uh, a watermelon alien from Guardians of the Galaxy oh. with like a, like a bunch of eyes or something. We have yeah. watermelon aliens today? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. snap. And they know ninja skills. <laughs> and they're ninjas. Of course they're ninjas. They're always ninjas. Yeah, they're in <laughs> space. If they're that advanced, they're going to be ninjas. Of course, of course. Of course. Yes. Of course. If you know how to travel through space, you know how to do ninja skills. Exactly. You know. It's a requirement, I think. It is, for space travel. Yes. Hey. Hey. Okay, let's go find that space alien watermelon ninja. <laughs> it appears some of the life forms are more intelligent than others. We all know the most advanced is Sly Stallone. That's right, and I'm in the new Guardians film. Oh, Sly, is that you? That's me. Oh my god, it's Rocky, it's Rambo, everybody. Wow. Yo, what's up, Jed Walkley? Well, what's up is this uh, Ronin's axe, not axe. Oh boy. Ronin's universal weapon here, that's what's up. Boy, oh boy, that thing looks deadly. You're gonna find out firsthand just how deadly it is. Are you feeling like a pretty tough, uh, tough head today? I I always have my head on straight, if you know what I oh, mean. Oh, I, well, not for long. Yeah. Look at V getting the camera ready. Woo! Woo! Yeah, good job, V. Okay, Rocky. All right. A little right. side uppercut to the head never hurt anybody. wasn't the best there, Rocky. Not a frontal lobotomy, but a backwards lobotomy there. <laughs> Let's try it again. Do a bullseye this time, hey. Chad. Well play. Okay, it's Rocky 2. Rocky 2. I suck. Okay. Another lobotomy. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to think about this anymore. <laughs> I'll get you, Rocky. I'm recording. Recording. Rocky number three. Down for the count, I think that's a oh. KO, isn't it? TKO. Uh, knockout. Oh, there goes all the eyeballs. Ooh, yum, yum. Uh, that's not I bad, am. not bad. Okay, not sour this time. A little bit, a little bit sour. <laughs> a little less rotten this time. A little Good. less. Well, Rocky, we're gonna miss you. I look forward to your next movie. We're gonna go back inside and get another Guardians of the Galaxy weapon. <laughs> 
All right, let's get back to the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Yaka Arrow. It is a whistle-controlled arrow made from Yaka that uses technology native to the Centaurian people. It is Yandu's favorite weapon. He's highly skilled in its usage. One is always kept in the holster by his side. Having a hard time finding an arrow that I can control with my whistles, guys. <laughs> I don't think they exist. So I'm gonna have to find one that controls with my hands. And this one I think will do the trick, the narrow ninjutsu throwing knife for $5.95. It's long, looks like an arrow. It can be thrown. I think it's gonna do great. Let's order it. Yaka arrow is the narrow ninjutsu throwing knife. Slide it on out of there. Let's take it out. And let's just rip it right through its plastic. Yeah, that is sharp. How do I throw this thing, guys? I should probably go on YouTube and watch some training videos on knife throwing. Kind of seems like I should throw from the handle, but I have seen a lot of people on YouTube throwing from the blade like this. So we're gonna go outside and try different ways. Well, why don't you guys let me know down below in the comments, what do you think is the right way to throw a sword? Or not a sword, a yaka arrow. Should I hold it by the handle or should I hold it by the blade when I throw it? What do you guys think? Comment down below, let me know. And while you're commenting, I'm gonna jump outside and meet my buds and we're gonna throw this at some evil emoji water balloons. Well, we've got the guardians of the watermelon ninja here. Oh, they look pretty happy to be doing their job. He, he's very happy to be employed today. He's like, I'm so cool. Yeah. He's like, no bad guys are coming after me. Well, wow. actually, no good guys are coming after me. Confidence. Because this is a bad guy. Look at him. He looks pretty bad. He looks a little too confident that he's being protected by his uh, emoji water balloons. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go <laughs> and then this is gonna go Run into him. We'll see if we can do that. Do it. Here we go. Woo! Look at that. And I got him with the handle, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the handle's sharp, too? I, I guess. I guess what, so. The handle went in there? Yeah. The handle went in. I, so I guess I should have thrown from the blade, because then the blade would have went in. Yeah. Jeez. Let's try again. I want to take out these emoji bodyguards. You better hire some taller bodyguards there, guy. Yep. Oh, Whoa! Bounced right off that guy. He's invincible. That is a tough emoji. Whatever planet he comes from, I want what they use. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to go inside and get another weapon. Good idea. If these bodyguards are apparently invincible, so... Yeah, that throwing arrow last time couldn't penetrate him, so now we've got the hammer. Whoa. I'm gonna swing through the first bodyguard into the watermelon. Bring the hammer down. See you later! Fruit something. <laughs> watermelon and really destroyed my trash can pretty good. This well, guy's laughing at you so hard he's <laughs> upside down. We just had a really good demonstration of the power of the Warhammer. Check out this garbage can. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Warhammer versus garbage can. The Warhammer easily wins. Look There's at that. There's even a hole. There's two holes, three holes. And the Warhammer is totally fine. Woo. This thing is indestructible. All right, well, back inside to get another weapon. And the next Guardians of the Galaxy character we are checking out is Gamora and her God Slayer sword. The God Slayer is capable of cutting through even the most durable of metals and uses a unique energy core located in its hilt to lower the weight of the blade, making it easier to handle. This is the closest thing I can find that looks something like the God Slayer blade. Most other swords I'm looking at are kind of too normal looking. I thought this looked awesome. The Jet Black Ninja Terror Blade for $24.95. All right, let's order it and test it out. I ain't throwing shade at the God Slayer blade. Let's check this out. Comes in a nylon sheath. Unbutton it there. Oh, it even comes with a shoulder strap. So I can just wear this right on my shoulder, pull it straight out. Nice, very nice. Ooh, that looks 
beautiful. Oh, that's sharp. So this is like a dual purpose combo blade. It has a serrated edge here, has a flat blade edge here, followed by a sawtooth edge. And then it keeps coming down towards the nylon wrapped handle. And I always wonder like what these little grooves here are, little indentations, little holes. I think these holes are for aerodynamics to help increase the speed. If any of you guys know like what these are for, or what this is for, or what these are for, let me know in the comments below. I would love to find out what that's for. This thing is very, very sharp. It certainly looks awesome. If you were a true ninja sneaking around at night, this is probably the blade to use because it's like pitch black. Nobody would see this blade coming at you. Like our fruit ninjas and soda ninjas, they're not gonna see this coming at them. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Oh, I'm Gamora! Oh, you're not yeah. tall enough, Gamora. Gamora, a hand there. Star Lord's here to help you out. Oh, there good. You Thank go. you, Star Lord. There you go. <laughs> that was a close one. Your blade's too long for too you. Too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa. Yeah, this is cool, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, we've got a rigid, like sawtooth edge here. We got a sharp blade here. Very, very sharp point. I don't know what these were. I was asking these guys, what do they think these are for? They're like, so, they uh, shape like the side of the stamps. Like, you know, like a postage stamp. You're right. Stamp. You, Your brain thinks in mysterious ways, Gamora. <laughs> That's a good theory. <laughs> postage stamp shape is, is what comes to V's mind. <laughs> I think she's probably absolutely right. That's that's the, the blade maker was inspired by. He's yeah. like, exactly. like I, I love the post office. He's, like a, I yeah. he's a stamp collector. collector. Yeah. That's what obviously. 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 And he used this to open, you know, envelopes. This is a letter yeah. opener, essentially. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. pretty good. I, I like never that. never thought of that. I hear there's some space soda ninjas that have been attacking us, uh -oh. the guardians of the galaxy. So we got to guard our galaxy then, I guess. Yes. Because you're the guardians <laughs> let's yeah. go. of the, yes. Of the galaxy. Let, <laughs> yeah. let's, let's go guard our galaxy. Let's, let's guard it up. Guard it up. Guard it up. Whoa, that's a weird looking alien. Gamora is here to defeat this weird looking ninja. Oh no, are you gonna defend your galaxy? I'm, I'm totally guarding it. Guard, <laughs> guard the heck out of that galaxy, V. All right, I will. Woo! I mean, Gamora. Yeah, Gamora. Gamora, I've got the GoPro. Oh. What do you know? Tighten the Gamora. You're hitting buttons and stuff. So oh, soft. am I? <laughs> what V did to that soda. Oh. It's just hanging on by a thread. You decapitated him. I did, I did. Wow. I, don't, I don't know, what belt am I at now, you guys? What belt am I oh, at now? Pretty... Triple black belt yeah. after that one. <laughs> Woo! I'm like covered in soda. Like, oh, look, yeah. look at that. Actually, V, I think you're now a blue belt because you took over this blue belt here. Oh, you so, stole his blue belt. There you go. All right. <laughs> he has been dishonored. I claim him. Oh. Yeah. Good job, V, let's go back inside. Woo! Huge shout out to you, Notification Ninjas. I am putting some of your comments down below. You are the guys who are turning on that bell symbol, getting here in the first hour of a video and leaving comments, because I read all your guys' comments. And if you haven't seen this video here, check it out. I think you'll love it. If you're not subscribed to me, if you're not subscribed to me, and if that doesn't look good, this one looks amazing. <laughs> Aren't they all amazing? Anyway, let's karate it up. Kia!